Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing this smoky, winged out, sparkly eyeshadow look. I'm not sure what to call it yet. But I'm just going to start out with the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer and I'm just going to rub this all over my lid. I'm also going to do my foundation later just because I'm working with a lot of glitter eyeshadows and I know it will probably go everywhere. So here I am starting out with Makeup Geek Baby Face to just rub this all over my eyelid just to cover up any type of redness that may be showing through. Okay, so the next shadow I'm going to be using is this Makeup Geek Barcelona Beach shadow and I am using a IT Cosmetics blending brush and it is number 105 and I'm going to be dusting this along my crease and also bringing it down to my outer V. And we'll just make sure that this shadow is very well blended. Next I'm taking Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie and I'm just going to dust this along my crease just to make sure the colors are nice and blended. And next I'm taking MAC Brown Down and I wanted to deepen up that crease and outer V color. So I'm just using the same IT Cosmetics brush to deepen that out. And then I'm going to go in with a Sigma E40 brush and also dust that out so it's super, super blended. Once I've finished blending these shadows out, I'm just going to take Urban Decay Desperation and we'll give our eyes a little bit more depth and dimension. And I'm going to take just this flat top brush and dust this along my outer V and then uh, bring that towards the crease. So once I finished applying the shadow, I took a Sigma E40 brush and made sure all the shadows were super well blended. Sorry if my left eye looked a little bit weird. I didn't have a light facing that way, so it might look a little darker than it actually was. And I'm just taking Urban Decay Desperation and dusting that on my lower lash line as well as Urban Decay Tease. And I'm just going to use an e.l.f. smudge brush to put this on my lower lash line. Here I am, loving life. So next I'm going to be using Urban Decay Moon Spoon, and this is a silvery glitter shade. And I'll be using my finger to really pack this on my lid. This eyeshadow gives major fallout, so I would suggest putting on your foundation afterwards. And next I'm going to be using Urban Decay Zodiac. I love the color of this shade. It is so pretty. It kind of reminds me of like a peacock. Look at it. It's so pretty. So we'll just start rubbing a good amount of that on our finger and start packing it on. Hopefully you guys can see some of the major fallout that I was dealing with with this. To deepen up the eye look a little bit more, I'm going to be taking this Urban Decay Black Shade in Crave and I'm just going to apply this in my outer V using that IT Cosmetics brush. And then once I've finished doing that, I'm just going to wing out my eyeshadow using a makeup remover wipe. And we'll just zoom you out a little bit. And then I'm going to take MAC Brown down and deepen up my lower lash line as well as connect it to that wing I made. And then taking this Wet n Wild eyeliner, I'm going to line my what is it called? Oh, my waterline. And once I've done that, I'll also do my tight line. Sorry if you're squeamish. And then highlight my brow bone using Makeup Geek White Lies. Priming my face, I'm using a Bare Minerals primer that will just neutralize the redness in my skin. And then I just sped up the foundation. I'm just using uh, the NARS Sheer Glow in Punjab. And once our foundation's finished, I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and putting that 
underneath my eyes, down my nose, on my cupid's bow, you guys know the drill. And then I'll just take a beauty blender and blend this out. And then once I've blended that out, I'm going to be taking the Anastasia contour palette and using her banana powder to set that concealer. Also, I forgot to tell you guys, uh, my camera died, but I use the Wet n Wild liquid eyeliner to wing out my eyes. And then I'm just using the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible to set my foundation, as well as the Anastasia contour palette to also contour my face and my nose. Look at that contour. To give my face some color, I'm using this BH Cosmetics blush palette and I'm going to be using those two lighter shades to dust on my face and oh, look at that face demon on my face, so annoying. I need this camera to be less HD please. Once I was finished with my blush, it was time to move on to the brows, and I'm just using my usual products, the NYX Brow Pencil and the NYX Cake Powder in Blonde to darken up my brows, and then using the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel to make those babies stick down. And then I thought it would be a good idea to deepen up my lower lash line a little bit more, so I'm taking some more Urban Decay Crave and really deepening that up a little. For mascara, I'm using Maybelline Lash Sensational. Sorry, that is so hard to say. And I'm just gonna apply that. Look at that mascara face. What are you doing? Close your mouth, girl. You is on camera. Oh my God, so embarrassing. Time for some false lashes. I am using the Ardell Glamour Lashes since my camera will not focus. And here I am making it look easy, even though inside I'm crying. So since I have sparkly eyes, I might as well have sparkly cheeks to match. And this is the Jaclyn Hill Highlighter in Champagne Pop. And also, do not mind this huge pimple on the side of my face, whatever. But look at that shine though, yes. So I wasn't sure what to do for the lips, so I decided to give you guys three different lip options. The first shade is this Tarte Lipstick in Tulip. And then I'm going to be putting this NYX Butter Lipstick in Pops Explosive on top to make it look more of a pinky nude. That's how that looks. And then we're going to wipe this off and then I'm going to go for a more of a vibrant purpley shade. And this first one is NYX Butter Lipstick in Razzle Fiesta. And then to deepen it up, I'm using NYX Butter Lipstick in Hunk. And I actually really liked how this turned out. And then I wanted to give you guys more of a deep look. So this is the Maybelline Color Blur uh, Lipstick. And this goes on very creamy, but it does dry matte. And this shade is in Plum. And we'll clean that up. And then to top it off, I'm gonna use NYX Liquid Suede in Cherry Skies. And that is the finished look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.